Hi guys, Anna Akimovic from Performing Arts Medicine and from Band-Aid, which means rockstar physiotherapy for you guys, all of you bass players. And do you know sometimes why your shoulder or your cervical spine hurts after practice, after recording in the studio, especially sitting down? Well, let me tell you, a stationary, static, passive position is absolutely the worst thing that the body likes. Uh, like the strings that we pluck or strum with a pick, uh, our body and our joints are designed to be stimulated by movement, by motion. And by that, I basically mean that there has to be balance between a rotational kind of mobilization in the fullest range of motion. Because the occiput and the sacrum is basically a foundation together with the pelvis, which creates the balance between the upper parts and the lower parts of the body. It's exactly like a nicely um, carved wood and a base that is balanced out. So when you put your hand underneath, it doesn't tip over. The, the, the neck or the headstock is not too heavy. And the same goes for, for the body of the base. So your own body has to be in balance. That means all of the elements should be not only in a proper position, they should be stimulated by movement, they should have the full potential of movement, they should be properly stimulated by the nerve system, which of course is the brain, is the spinal column, all of the facet joints and the peripheral nerves that help you thrash and play fast and play all of the cool songs that you that you love uh doing on stage and both in the studio so all of that we basically learn uh, how not only to activate and to mobilize we find out the causes why that disbalance and that functional um irritation happens to certain joints uh white pain comes up and it's very rarely coming from the place where it hurts it's rarely the case and the source is somewhere far away from where you would think so if you have pain in your wrist or in your elbow or in your shoulder or discomfort in your uh, occipital joint. Um, basically, that's not where the problem lies. So all of that, guys, we break down with me when I teach uh, body management for metal bass players. That goes for all bass players, basically. But by electric bass, I mean everything that is plugged in and has like 100% of power without anything uh, diffusing that and making it sound bad, feel bad, and look bad. So check out Body Management Workshop uh, for metal bass players, and it's bookable. Right now it's available in your city for your bands, for your music institutes and music schools, and for individuals as well. If you're interested in booking a small um, group uh, class with myself, that's possible too. So check it out, guys, and I'll see you Stay tuned for more little tidbits about how to properly, basically play the bass uh, with Band-Aid. Stay tuned for more.